folks, the Robozoid. I know I haven't made a video in a little while, probably for a good reason, because I was actually pretty sick, and quite frankly, my throat sounded like... ...and amorous. Let me see some tenderness, some depth of feeling. Yes, like George C. Scott. Well, anyway, I'm, I'm here with very sad news, of course. <coughs> Legendary shock jock Don Imus has died at the age of 79, and, uh, you know, Imus was certainly an inspiration to someone like me who wanted to get into radio as well. Uh, also, of course, um, he was, as everyone probably knows, was the rival of Howard Stern when they were both on WNBC back in the mid-80s. Um, and, of course, Howard got fired, Imus stayed, until eventually he would get fired and moved to WFAN, which was an all-sports station. Um, yeah, and so Imus was 79 years old when he died, passed away at his ranch in Texas. And, of course, Imus was one of my heroes. He often had uh, as frequent guests on his show, uh, uh, the late George Carlin. <clears throat> he even had quite a few uh, sports and political figures on as well. And, of course... Uh, often made fun of celebrities and politicians. Uh, one such bit in particular I loved was when he actually called uh, Hillary Clinton the most disingenuous, most uh, evil, most phony person on earth, something to that effect. And of course, as someone who can't stand Hillary either, I really, really agreed with that sentiment, and I, I loved Imus. He was excellent. And of course, uh, he had his guys... Sid Rosenberg and uh, Bernard McGurk, who have uh, since moved on to their own show now that they do together, of course, the Sid and Bernie show. So I imagine they'll have a big tribute to him as well. Um, <clears throat> I also did have uh, a couple of Imus's record albums that he released in the 70s, uh, which I'm going to show you right now. Okay, so here are the two records that I have. 1,200 Hamburgers to Go which was actually nominated for a Grammy. Um, it didn't win, of course. It was beat out by George Carlin's Class Clown. And also, of course, I have a 1974 album, This Honky's Nuts, which, of course, was a take on the Richard Pryor album of the title I'm not allowed to say, but would love very much to say, because it's not really derogatory towards people in general, just means ignorant. But yeah. This was the album in which Imus tried his hand at stand-up comedy. And of course, Imus was probably most notorious uh, in, the, in the aughts, of course, back in 07, when he made this remark, which I am not going to censor. I refuse to censor it. I will play the whole clip. You know why I'll do it? Because I don't give a shit. Caution for the week. This contains some serious language in it that some people find offensive, but I don't really care. The term was actually popularized by Spike Lee and was used in, I think, Do the Right Thing. So, here we go. Man, they got tattoos and some hardcore hoes. That's, that's some nappy-headed hoes there, I'm gonna tell you that now. Man, that's some... Ooh. And, uh... <clears throat> girls from Tennessee, they all look cute, you know, so... Like, kind of like a... I don't know. Spike Lee thing. Yeah. The yeah. Jingle Bells vs. the Wannabes? Yeah. Was that a, movie that he had? Yeah, it was a tough... Uh, Do the right thing. I don't yeah, know yeah, if yeah. I wanted to beat Rutgers or not, but they did, right? It actually was Do the Right Thing. So, yeah. That was the clip. Uncensored. Raw. And, of course, just the way you'd expect from me. I didn't want to censor it. Because... Imus, of course, was a man who had the right to say whatever he wanted. It's called freedom of speech, lefties. Try to figure that out. <sighs> anyway, yeah, so he got fired for a time, uh, all because this idiot, Al Charlatan, I call him Al Charlatan. You know him as Reverend Al Sharpton. I know him as a con artist, a bullhorn bully, and also, of course, the street rat who was responsible for Freddy's Fashion Mart being burned down and the Crown Heights riot in 1991. I know these things. You don't, because you didn't research them like I did. 
So, yeah, Imus ended up getting fired for that. Of course, he apologized, but he really didn't owe anyone an apology. That's kind of his shtick, you know, to be offensive, to be outrageous, to be provocative, to be irreverent. That's that's just who Imus was. Same thing with Howard Stern. Same thing with, uh, I don't know, Bob and Tom. Same thing with Opie and Anthony. That's just kind of their shtick. You know, and Imus was the pioneer of the shock jocks, I guarantee it. So, yeah, he should never have gotten fired for that comment at all. I mean, after all, Don Imus is a girl's best friend. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I just wanted to say that yeah, Don Imus died, age 79, peacefully in his ranch in Texas. Really sucks to die right before or after Christmas. But... <clears throat> You know, that's the way of all flesh, you know? You know, we, we don't know when we shuffle off this mortal coil. We have no idea when that's when the day's going to be. We don't determine our time. That's, that's really up to the cosmic engineer. <clears throat> anyway, my throat's hurting, so I think I better end this video now. Uh, rest in peace, Don Imus. Miss you, man.